Today's video from Sharper, we're taking a look at the XEA207 register and in particular we're looking at whether you can reprint an end of day Z1 sales report on the machine. Um, so I do get asked this question quite a lot that um, someone's run an end of day Z report and then commonly the till rolls run out halfway through or they've done the report successfully and then they've put it to one side and when they've come to do the actual cashing up in the back office the report's gone AWOL and they're now they've got nothing to refer to. Um, so what I'm going to do in the video is basically regenerate or replicate that problem and then show you a bit of a workaround. So the, the short answer um, is that you cannot reprint an actual end of day report but there is an EJ electronic journal function um, which you can use to um, resolve the problem. So if I do a few sales just so we've got a bit of sales history on the machine. So we've done some sales transactions on the till um, and then at the end of the day we're going to do our end of day Z1 um, financial report so we do that by pressing mode and then selecting line 4 X1 Z1 mode TLNS and then we're going to do the resetting report I mean the video covers both if you've lost any type of report um, the solution is the same and then we're going to run the resetting general report by pressing TLNS <laughs> so I've actually, yes, I've run out of roll halfway through it. I've actually set it up that way. So I press clear um, and I keep getting the paper empty error message. I perhaps tear off the report thinking, why is it run out now? Lift up the printer cover and then the rest of the paper has actually run out. So I've got to the end of the till roll. Um, maybe you don't have a till roll to hand. Um, Maybe you do, either way, when you come to replace it and pop your till roll in. Clear, we'll get then rid of the error message. So the machine will carry on printing as soon as the roll's put in, but obviously what can happen is it might take you longer to get hold of the roll and the machine may get switched off. Um, but either way, the end result is the same. You've done a report and lost it don't have it. When you come to re, you might think you can rerun the report so you can go general again but obviously the report's already happened as far as the till's concerned the report's been done and the reconciliation done so the report's now blank. So the way round it is to choose the e-journal. Now you can either do the e-journal, electronic journal in the X or the Z mode. Remember this is really crucial because if you run it in the X mode it doesn't reset it so you're going to get the information without resetting it. If you run it in the Z mode which I am already in, I'm in the resetting Z mode then I'm going to run the journal and it's going to reset. So I'm going to go back to X by pressing escape cancel and then I want reading rather than resetting. So I'll go up to 2 reading TLNS and then line 5 is e-journal, TLNS, I want all, so I press TLNS and what this is doing is this is now printing out the journal roll as if there was a journal roll so it's everything that the till's done um, since the last time the EJ was reset. So if you're not interested generally in this sort of information, you might want to run the resetting version of the report. Um, but I've run the reading because I want to keep mine for now. Um, so then, obviously you've got, now got a lot of paper. You may have considerably more than me um, if you're not 
used to running this report. So it's basically all the electronic journal is, is a, it's a condensed print of everything that the till's done. So no sales, refunds, um, sales, programming, reports, everything is recorded on the audit roll. It's all date and time stamped, so as long as your till's got the date and time programmed correctly, you can go through and find every piece of um, necessary information. But obviously for me, the report I'm looking for is the very last thing that was done, so it's nice and easy to find. So I can see here, it's got the date and time on it, and I've run, it's that report there. So that is the same as the report that's just printed out. And I can actually prove the report because Although mine's only half printed out, I haven't actually lost it. So we can see the totals there, 103, 701. I'll just tear that off. I've got the same report there, and I've got the 25th of April, 2020, 1235, which is the same as that report there. So that is a useful way of being able to reprint out your lost end of day report on your Sharp XEA207 register. Okay, I hope that video has been helpful. Uh, we've got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the XEA207 and other Sharp registers. Some of those videos will be appearing on screen now, so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.